Good evening, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to this episode number 10 of Miraculous Mondays, Aka Management Mondays. So in these short episodes of Management Mondays, we have been discussing a few topics of practice management and medical legal ethics uh, since the first week of Jan. So I hope you are liking uh, these episodes and I sure want to make a little bit of difference in your lives in whatever way I can. So today's topic again is a different kind of a philosophy on uh, practice management. Just let me check whether I'm live or not and so that we can start. Yep, it seems that I'm live. So I hope you are liking uh, these episodes. Okay, guys. So please allow me to share my screen so that we can uh, start our uh, session for today. So welcome, welcome, welcome once again to this episode number 10 of the 26th episode that we have decided for Miraculous Mondays or Management Mondays. So today is 7th March, Monday, 8.15 p.m. Uh, we are on time, on track, uh, going towards 26 weeks. So what is my topic for today? Before I start that, of course, a big thanks due to the Lord Almighty who's given me much more than what I deserve. And uh, this is my brief CV. You all are aware of it by now. So without much ado, let's start. So today's topic is the OKR philosophy in practice management. What are the objective and key results, key areas or key definitions about that part? So this is the topic for today. So the OKR philosophy, objectives and key results. It has a great deal of importance in practice management. In this uh, short episode of 20 minutes or so, I'll be giving you a few, uh, say, insights into the OKR philosophy. So let's begin. So the OKR philosophy basically, you can say, is basic is used by big companies, big organizations usually, but it is applicable in dentistry also for most of us. To start with, OKRs are actually used by IBM, Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, Dropbox, Spotify, Disney, and so on to get so many employees moving towards the same ambitious goals. Of course, growth and expansion is one of the biggest uh, hallmarks of uh, such companies. And the thing is that the goal setting has to be in sync with the actions that are being planned as such. So because whenever you have certain ambitions in mind, the goals are there and those have to be prioritized so that the actions are in sync with all of these. Uh, no wonder these have a role in dentistry also. I'll be giving you a brief uh, outlay of that also. Uh, what I mean to say is that you don't need to be a multinational corporation or a big organization uh, or a big team leader to benefit from this OKR philosophy. So it is, it is uh, equally interesting if you believe in the metrics and data research, or you can say the practice metrics as we call them, or the key uh, areas which actually tell us uh, how our practice is growing because it is based much on data. So it is, in short, if I say it is a system for making sure what you want to happen will actually happen. So this is the short philosophy of that. So what are exactly objectives and key results of OKR philosophy? As I said, it is a management philosophy which basically focuses that everyone focuses on the same important issues as per the prioritization at the same time so that millions of hands and millions of brains or tons of hands and tons of brains are working towards that philosophy. Of course, it is not that the philosophy has to be huge. If the company has an ambitious goal, the clinic can also have an ambitious goal of growth and expansion. So objective is really what you want to accomplish. Of course, that has to be action oriented as well and inspirational as well. But key results are how you will accomplish it. It is actually the pathway to reach your destination or to have those objectives in the mind. Of course, the results have to be uh, using the SMART criteria, specific, measurable, uh, time-bound, aggressive, realistic, all those uh, aspects. So they can be set as monthly, quarterly, fortnightly, whichever way you 
can say what matters is that the results are achieved by that philosophy so you can try okr philosophy if you love data love numbers and looking for a more rigorous way to set and track goals yeah, the data metrics for your practice what are your if i were to give you an example how many new patients did you have this month how many old patients were uh, uh, turned up for the clinic how many new patients actually contributed to your income in a big way or the 80 20 philosophy merged with that how many of the new patients contributed to 80% of income how many old patients did that and so on these these can be driven into various uh, spheres and they can help us achieve the you can say various goals which we have set for our organization you can try okr also if you put in a lot of work but you feel that i am making a lot of hard work in my life i'm doing a lot of hard work but still the progress is not there i'm not really feeling that uh, maybe i'm not focusing on the right things so what exactly are those areas to focus on maybe you need to be a little bit uh, smart along with your hard work so the direction in the key results area will tell you to move towards that part then some of us can try okr if you have a hard time saying no we have a goody goody syndrome to please others and we don't want to stick to our priorities and are happy fulfilling other people's job so sticking to your own priorities is one of the important key areas for you can say trying the okr philosophy or if you feel that uh, you are reaching a peak uh, you are reaching a plateau in your personal growth and you want to challenge yourself so for that you need to set priorities align action across a company division or team or in case uh, in our case our clinic our team our sports staff or or the the clinic uh, associates in, in whatever way depending upon the size of the clinic so the mission the objective and the key result area so all those have to be in sync with each other so what are exactly okrs let me just break it down let's start with the basics okrs as i told you are objectives and key results so putting simply they objectives tell you where you are going i want to be the best dentist of my town i want to be the ex most expensive dentist of my town i want to scale newer heights i want to earn this much amount of income what exactly will you need to go undergo that task so the key results are how you get there the how is oftenly missing we always talk about action taking maine aapko padha diya action lena aapka kaam hai are boss action le lunga action shayad main sahi nahi le paun so what is there what is missing is sometimes the how in that and the key results areas determine the how how you get there so if we can say these are the yin and the yang of goal setting so without okrs the goal setting is actually you can say worthless so without key results to make them actionable objective will remain wishes and as you say if wishes were horses i would have done this so sometimes efforts are required we all need to take action but to further refine it the key results will tell you how to take action in which direction to take action which metrics to track which uh, uh, you can say uh, data to measure so that you can reach the desired goal a uh, similar to i've been doing a practice growth analysis pga sessions with my uh, workshop participants recently and a few other paid participants also these days those sessions are going on on pga these are the sessions which i take differently from swot analysis and uh, the fpa financial portfolio analysis separately in one to one sessions so uh, in the pga we have lot of metrics which we discuss in this part so okr is is a variant of that pga analysis only for your practice growth purpose so without objectives to ground them in a higher strategy and purpose key results are just a directionless to do list मुझे यहाँ पे जाना है लेकिन कैसे जाना है कहाँ जाना है किस डायरेक्शन में जाना है एक्शन टेकिंग इज नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट आपको रोज उठ के सुबह मेहनत करनी पड़ेगी मैं रोज सुबह पांच बजे उठ जाऊंगा लेकिन मैं सुबह पांच बजे उठ के करूंगा क्या वॉट इज योर टू डू लिस्ट इफ इट इज अ डायरेक्शन लेस यू डोंट नीड टू यू कैन से यू यू नीड टू मेयर अबाउट दैट पार्ट सो द टारगेट द फोकस एंड ऑफकोर्स द टाइम लाइन है ओके आर फिलोसफी so when taken all uh, when taken together the okr will represent the best of both the worlds 
ambitions with concrete actions so action taking is not the one thing which is missing but action taking concretely and in a directional with the direction format is surely the need of the hours so we all are motivated by high goals but it is our short term actions that will actually give you the results so we need both to be effective we need good goals also we need good action taking also and that will come with this okr philosophy so if just to have to differentiate between these two objectives mean where you are going or what you want to do what you want to achieve the kr will determine how you will get there and which are the actions specifically you have to take to accomplish that object or that objective so objectives may not be time bound you may have immediate goals short term goals medium term goals long term goals the immediate goals would be two weeks away the long term goals may be 10 years 20 years away but key results are time bound should be completed by the end of the cycle i have to condition myself i have to condition my sleep cycle to get up at 5 am in the next two weeks for that if i am getting up at 8 am i will spend the rest of the next of the week getting up half an hour earlier 45 minutes earlier and the next week even 45 minutes earlier so that in 2 to 3 weeks i arrive at the desired time of 5 and then i set my body clock at 5 am so this is time bound the objectives might not be the goals might not be but the krs are definitely time bound then objectives uh, can be concrete and action oriented but may not be measurable mujhe duniya ka mujhe apne town ka sabse bada dentist banna hai who will measure that you have become that maybe the money guideline maybe the patient outflow maybe the work output maybe the number of units of lab whatever reason maybe the surface area maybe the uh, carpet area whatever matrix you use so then when you measure it you can surely reach the conclusion that yes this is one thing i have arrived at so if what you can't measure what you can't measure is actually not grown in life I, this is always said so objectives are always inspirational they connect to your overall mission and why you should do what you are doing at and krs are always evaluation and evolving through the cycle you become a better person when you keep on improving keep on changing and implementing those things in your practice life so just to give you an example for example my objective is to improve one month patient retention rate by 20% so you conduct 20 uh, what are the key results areas for that you conduct 24 uh, 25 interviews with lost patients who have not turned back for treatment to identify the current pain points you ask the patient why did you why did you come sir why did you come ma'am what was the problem they said you were too expensive your your clinic was not much clean your uh, waiting area had too many patients you didn't have a sanitizer bottle your washroom was not very clean any any reasons so that will basically give you an idea into the pain points so then you clarify the value proposition to your team and staff you revamp the possible sop standard operating procedures and then you create after revamping this create the new onboarding patient experience then you identify and double down on promotion and marketing with the aim to have best retention rate now you market the renewed and the revamped onboarding experience this is just an example of how to go about that task but if you just want to improve the retention rate you keep on asking the satisfied patients those who are already happy with you you may not get the ans correct answer to your pain points but yes you can get the same from your lost patients so key krs actually define which path you have to take not from the successful or the happy patients or satisfied patients but from the lost patients i'll give you a variant of this also how it can be said for for the uh, time bound in the carry on gyan today so another objective if you want to self publish a book of course uh, self publishing has taken big time in the past 3 years with the advent of uh, uh, platforms like kobo amazon kindle uh, you you self publishing is a reality even my own books are being self published by me again after uh, having a bad experience with the uh, lap or lambert academy publishing i'm looking uh, i'm i'm self publishing them most likely by april only they'll be out so the key results you write 1000 words a day then find an editor then identify the best self publishing platform and build a personal brand on social media and go about the marketing task 
So this is the way you break down your objective into certain key results. What are the direction? What are the chartered path you have to take? This can be in your clinic. This can be in your uh, practice. This can be anywhere. So the carry home can for today is because stress is a very common symptom. So we all know so many, uh, you can say, problems have affected mankind. When we don't give our bodies and minds to time to rest, we're likely to see an increase in the stress levels. This is a slide from the previous week, which defined the importance of me time. And trust me, me time is one of the correct uh, uh, parameters to join the link between the objectives and the chaos. Some of you might be wondering why this me time slide is here. This is the reason. Because we know that effect of stress can happen when we are not able to accomplish what we want to. We land up in the unknown territories and those territories are not very present, uh, which can lead us to increase heart rate, illness, poor health. So, khab dekhna achhi baat hai, lekin khabon ko pura karna aur bhi zaruri hota hai, lekin uske liye sahi rasta dekhna zaruri hai. And me time is one of the ideal things. So, when I take the presentations in sequence, they all have a reason and a meaning. So, the reason for taking me time in the last week was this one. So, where you want to go, objectives will tell you. The key results, how we will know we have arrived at our destination or at least the check post one, checkpoint one or checkpoint two, then the barriers. If we have not arrived at check post one, what are the barriers that slowed us down? And then just break it further down on your day-to-day -day actions. Maybe procrastination, maybe lack of prioritization, maybe lack of clarity, maybe lack of focus, maybe a SOS, shiny object syndrome. So many things can be, uh, you can say, a deterrent to our growth in our practice. So there is no pres uh, uh, prescribed or care cadence that uh, how many times uh, we can say it, it should be time bound. But one, two, three months is the actual sweet spot. Good enough, long enough to see results, but short enough to make action feel urgent to all of us. We may have some overlapping timelines also. As I said, in, in, in that uh, SOP philosophy, I'll show you the side again. We might set high level annual OKRs, but then break those down into short quarterly or even monthly OKRs. So I gave you an example of clinics objective to improve one month patient retention rate. The key result, revamping possible SOPs. This may become the first quarter objective. Identify the pain points, convey to staff, increase, create value proposition, and then revamp the possible SOPs and convey it. And then you can say with your growth team, you can identify the key results areas. Your objectives may stay same. Of course, you can't become, if you want, if you have a goal to become the best dentist of your town, you may not become that in six months or one year. It may take time. The objective, the long-term objective might be the same, but your key re results can be time bound. For the first path, I have to do this. Then on the second path, you have to do this. This is the way you actually create the whole system. When we talk about system creation, this is one philosophy I would want every one of you to adhere to, the OKR philosophy. So I hope I have put you in the think mode. So do let me know what do you think about this OKR philosophy. I have been a big fan of it uh, since many years now. So, uh, this is an important part of my success and my growth in my life. So if you resonated with it, do let me know. So otherwise, Paramatma to hai hai, mehar aapki sahara, aapka jap naam, jap naam. So thank you so much for watching uh, uh, this uh, session. So this is my WhatsApp group. Uh, most of you already know it. I'm limiting it to six only. The six group uh, will not be extended after that. So six group is almost near completion with 2,203 uh, participants and 180 in the finance. So there are two groups. These are advertisement free groups. My way of giving back to the society. So if you want to be added, Please do message me or WhatsApp. I'll add you over there. So this is my YouTube channel. As on 28th of Feb, there are 428 videos in the uh, on the channel. Again, one of another ways of paying back to the society. So do let me know uh, if you subscribe and hit the bell icon. So do send me your feedback on my WhatsApp, on my page. Bookers and Brickbats both will be welcome in equal manner. So thank you so much once again. And I stopped my share for question time from all of you if there is any and acknowledge the visitors on my page.
हेलो डॉक्टर रामचंद्र हेलो डॉक्टर पारुल हेलो डॉक्टर राजेंद्र देसाई सो गुड टू सी यू ऑल सो एनी क्वेश्चंस तो आई विल बी वेटिंग फॉर अ कपल ऑफ मिनट्स और एल्स वी विल ब्रेक फॉर टुडे सो आई होप सम ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव लिसन टू दिस फिलॉसफी द ओकेर फिलॉसफी बट ट्रस्ट मी दिस इज वन फिलॉसफी व्हिच हैज गिवन मी इमेंस रिजल्ट्स इन माय लाइफ i always make a chain process around whatever i do and the objectives are not important and the action alone is not important but a guided action with the key result areas and uh, you can say a chartered marker pa marked path to whatever goals i want to achieve is more than important for me so thank you dr ramchandra for your feedback so i hope uh, you like today's session do send me your feedback thank you so much for watching and i see you in the episode number 10 of thunderous thursdays on the th on the upcoming thursday thank you so much bye bye take care thank you dr parul thank you for your feedback thank you bye bye take care have a great week ahead